Here you see we are assembling the cavitation reactor, just like the pistol shrimp, which accomplishes the temperature of the surface of the sun times four, according to the University of Illinois, with a collapsing cavitation bubble. That takes place in these chambers right here, in these reaction chambers. We're getting ready to plumb with the stainless steel and uh, swedge lock fittings. Steam comes in right at this location there. This is an accumulator. This, uh, we decided to use a 7.5 kilowatt, and this is uh, the Robert Green technology. He's now currently using boilers. We will replace the boilers with free energy steam. This is a water pump. Water comes in at 3,000 uh, PSI, the hydraulic system. Here's the hydraulic system. Is 3,000 PSI and the water comes in instead of normal diesel. This is the water chamber uh, vessel holding the water. And here's for the computer controllers that we're working on and demonstrating that fire, that determine how fast that the reactors are fired. And so what happens is that the water is going through a modified injector and the um, 3,000 PSI hydraulic is a sealed system, but then the injector, a solenoid type uh, uh, electromagnetic device increases the pressure by seven times, making 21,000 PSI is fired uh, and cavitation phenomena takes place and we have free energy steam that could replace the boilers for nuclear, coal, and natural gas power plants. We should be able to demonstrate it next week.